Hey guys, it's Jackson here, and today we're doing a new product review, and it is the Aovo Pro Electric Scooter. Now, I believe it's like the Xiaomi M365, but a lot cheaper, and it's really high quality for its price, as expected. It cost about £286. Um, I think I'm pretty sure you can get it all over the place, all over, and I'll get to showing you all the features. Let's get it. Now, this right here is the scooter. Now, it unfolds really simply with this clip here, which I'll show more later on. You just push it and lift it, and then once this is up, you can just do that and it's up. Right out of the box, looks amazing. Absolutely love the way it looks. Now, here we are. Move it over a bit. Now, I know that some scooters, the kickstand never works and it will just fall and break or snap. This one will not have the same fate as the kickstand actually works it's really well it's nice now the quality of this feels amazing and it does not disappoint this thing is a beast let me show you what i mean Now, this scooter, well, not really for me, but for everyone else, this is light. Oh, jeez. Very lightweight compared to other ones. And it handles amazing. It's really good. It's lightweight. The age recommendation is 16, which means I'm only, what, five days off it? Only five days off it which isn't bad and it turns on really easily let me show you how now this is like connected to an app obviously i'm filming on my phone so i can't really show you the app at the moment but this is how you turn it on you hold it for three seconds and it'll turn on and then that's it you're ready to go there's three different modes which is there's normal that's slow and that's sport mode and you can have a headlight right this i haven't tried that out in the dark yet but i'll it should be pretty decent and if you press it three times i think that turns on cruise control option which is pretty awesome it also shows a little Bluetooth sign in the bottom left if you have connected, if it has connected to your phone and to the app. Now, let me show you what it's like riding it. Now, obviously you've seen how fast it is. I'll show you the cruise control. Kickstand off. Here we go, guys. I've just managed, managed to scoop the tripod in down me here, in down my jacket. So this is our high mode. It's really fast. You can see the speed up, speeds up. Now, it is a bit bumpy because it has solid tyres, which means it has a bit more friction and grip, but big bumps like speed bumps are a bit bumpy. I suggest not riding if you have a headache or eye strain because it will cause your headache or your eye strain to get worse, but that's expected. Ooh, sugar. 
birdies. It's very fast and I will show you the cruise control in a second. Now to turn on cruise control, you just triple tap. And then that little symbol pops up. And then I was gonna put it on low, I think, low, yeah, not the slowest, medium, just to show you. You, do, you ride for eight seconds. Oh, this is on the lowest, but still. And then it'll make a beep, and then you can let go of the accelerator. It's suggested that you keep both hands on, but I'm just showing you that I'm not driving anything at all it's all the scooter by itself and you can cancel it by either pressing the brake or by letting go of the accelerator which i'll show you now you can actually just push the accelerator once again to slow down or you can hold it to speed up let me just change the mode to medium. It's a bit faster. It's got to turn around first. Don't want to be doing cruise control into a road. So once you start driving again, you just got to wait eight seconds and then you can let go. Yeah, it's still on. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. And then you can let go. I'm not driving it at all. 14. And you can actually change the mode of, like, the units. So I've got mine in miles an hour. So I know that I'm going 40, about 14 miles an hour right now. And then you can just let go. Break. brakes are good now on the app you can actually control how responsive you want the accelerator to be how responsive you want the brakes to be to be and you can set a limiter if you like so if I wanted to go if I was giving this to a kid and I didn't want them to go flying I would give them, I'd probably limit it to about 10 mile an hour maybe, which isn't fast, that's the, basically the lowest setting. Here we are, here's the fastest. Yeah. With cruise control, let's have a go. There we go, let me let go. Um, we're cruising. Very fast cruising, but it's it works. And it's really good and I love it. Got a little bell. Press the brakes slowly, and the more you press the brakes, the more responsive it is. And same with the accelerator. The more you press it, the more responsive it is. Now I suggest starting off on low. I've used electric scooters before, so when I got it, I went straight onto medium, then on a high. I still have to get used to it. Oh, skateboard there. So yeah, this is an amazing scooter. And I'll find a way to show you the app functions right now. Now, to turn off the scooter, you just hold it. And it'll beep and it'll turn off. And you can pop out your little stand if I don't lose my balance. And there you go. Let's get into the next part.
guys thank you so much for watching this video um don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like it um once again the scooter is called ao4 pro m365 scooter so yeah i'll put the link in the description if you want to get yourselves one and uh, they are amazing scooters absolutely love them um definitely a good idea for like birthdays or christmas uh yeah so i'll see you in the next video bye